Hello guys and welcome to my Sephora restock haul. What a wonderful So today's video is, like I said, a large Sephora haul. For me, this is large because it was like over $200, but I used all of my Christmas money to basically buy restocks and some things that I had on my love list for a while. I also got this massive pack of like skincare samples, so I'm excited to show you guys what I got, but let's just go ahead and get right into it. So first I'm gonna start with probably the most exciting thing that I was really looking forward to, and it's the Sol de Janeiro Nourishing Hair Oil. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells amazing. I got a sample of it last year, and I swear this stuff smells so good. It smells just like 62 from their Fine Fragrance Mist line and you know, the Bum Bum Cream and all that. It smells just like it, but it's hair oil. So when I had the sample size of it, I think it was like around the end of summer, I was using it and you could honestly smell it all day long and even throughout the next days because I only wash my hair about two times a week and I love to put hair oil on just so it doesn't get too dry, but I'm actually gonna use a little bit because it just smells so good and it feels amazing. So I'm really looking forward to using this a lot more. Um, I had a lot of little like mini hair oils left over from like years of hoarding hair products, but I finally got through them. So I let myself buy the Sol de Janeiro one. I'm so excited, you guys. It is so yummy smelling. Ugh. On to the next item. I picked up the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Liquid Eyeliner in black. I've been using my own um, Fenty Beauty brown eyeliner for a while. I really love the way that brown eyeliner looks for like every day. I have it on today actually, but I decided to go ahead and get a black one because I was using the, let me show you, the e.l.f. liquid liner in this like tube and it's super hard to use. It's like $3 of course, so it's really cheap and flimsy and it's just not easy to use. And when I'm using black eyeliner, it's usually for like really big events and I want it to look perfect and sharp and oftentimes when I use this one, I like mess up. I have to go in with a Q-tip and fix it. And it just takes forever. And for big events, I'm always in a rush. So I figured I might as well just kind of invest in a really good one. So I hope this Rare Beauty one is good. It came in its own little like foil packet, which I thought is really smart because if it did burst open, they didn't want it to kind of get everywhere. But this is cool. It looks like a pen. This is a really awesome design. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is sharp as hell. Holy crap. This is me like not even really trying either. It doesn't seem to be super dark. So here I went over it like a few coats in the middle. It's not super dark looking, but it does feel like it's super easy to use. So I'm excited to try this, use it for a couple like weddings I have coming up, but yeah, okay, drying down, it does look darker actually. And it is matte, which is always nice. I think the shiny eyeliners, like that e.l.f. one, they just look cheap. <laughs> they just look cheap when you put them on. And honestly, this wasn't expensive. I think it was like 25, which is yes, expensive for an eyeliner, but not crazy. Like Charlotte Tilbury, I think is a lot more. So yeah, I'll try that out. I'll let you guys know how that goes. And the last like new to me thing is this Aura Bay anti-humidity hairspray. I love anti-humidity hairsprays. I just got this Living Proof Frizz Humidity Shield one last year and I used it pretty much all summer. It's almost finished, which is why I invested in a new one. And this one's small enough so I can carry it with me. And if I do like it, I'll probably buy the full size, but this mini I think was like $30. So the full size is probably like 65 or something, but this is 2.2 ounces. So I can definitely travel with it on a plane. And yeah, I'm excited to try it. I've really heard great things about this brand Orbe. Yeah, Aura Bay, and I've heard great things about this anti-humidity hairspray, so I'm excited to try it. Okay, moving on to my restocks. So usually if I do a Sephora order, I'm just gonna go ahead and get these next two things because I know I'm gonna get through them, and that is the Living Proof Scalp Care Dry Scalp Treatment. This one is an absolute savior for if you have dry, flaky, dry hair or a dry scalp, which I used to suffer, suffer with psoriasis on my scalp, and then once I fix that, I do have some dandruff sometimes. So I use this every time I shower. I put it on um, after my hair is wet from the shower and I'll put it on like just the dry parts of my scalp, which is my crown behind my ears and then right at the nape of my neck. So I love this stuff. It works amazingly. Um, definitely recommend it. It is more expensive, but I probably go through 
maybe one every three, four, five months. So it lasts me a while, um, even though it's like 35, maybe 40, um, but I always restock on it because it works really well. The next thing that I always restock on is my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA BHA Pore Tight Toner. This stuff is holy grail. Absolutely a holy grail for me. It's so good. It's um, got like a watermelon kind of scent to it, but it's so hydrating. I even use this on Ryan. Ryan has dry skin in the winter and oily skin in the summer, but he does really well with this too, and it works really well on his skin. I think this really was like my savior in my textured skin. I used to have like really big pores and I had like those little textured bumps and this works super well. My skin is like glowy after I use it. I love it so much. It's like a drink of water for my skin. So I highly recommend it. I love um, this from Glow Recipe and I really wanna try more of their stuff. So let me know down below if you have anything from Glow Recipe that you absolutely love because I'd love to venture out and try more from them. And the last full size item I have is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Berry. Now this is a repurchase for me. I got through my first one, my first ever full size lip sleeping mask last year. And this is huge, honestly, you guys. It's gonna last me all year long. Um, I have been using the tube version of this and honestly, I don't think it's as moisturizing as this one. Um, it just doesn't work as well for me. So I'm excited to go back to this and, you know, really enjoy it. The tube is convenient and stuff, but I feel like this works better for keeping my lips really moisturized. So excited to have that one back in my collection. And I did see some videos on TikTok the other day about like how there's way better alternatives for a cheaper price. So if you guys know of a good alternative to this, like let me know. But I like this one because it is clear, even though I like the idea of those road like lip masks or whatever i'm like i don't want a tint that's the whole reason why i want this one so anyways so next we have some samples i do have like a trick for you guys to get samples i have the rakuten safari extension on my computer and i usually if i ever do an order on sephora it's worth going through that you just like click the box and it'll try to find a coupon code for you and it found one it found a lot of coupon codes because there's always codes going around where you can get like if you pay I don't know if you buy like $60 worth of Glow Recipe products, you can get some minis from them. Um, but I didn't have enough racked up from one brand to get anything from anything free from just one brand. So I did get the January skincare bundle. I think it was, it was like something New Year's skin or something like that was the coupon code. But you could also just look up, like just Google Sephora coupon codes and just go to Retail Me Not and usually they'll have one there. So yeah, definitely check that out because there's always free stuff for Sephora and free stuff for Ulta if you can find the right coupon codes. So, you know, just hack the system just a little bit so you can get your freebies. <laughs> but every Sephora order does always come with two freebies that you can choose from. So I chose the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. I'm excited to try this. I had their glow sunscreen before and it was honestly too glowy for me. I actually like the e.l.f. version better. Um, but excited to try this one and also it'll be nice to pack on trips. I got the Chloe Eau de Parfum and this one, I think this is newer, I want to say, but I did actually spray it on the card and it is so strong. It smells very floral. I don't have the notes of this one, but I'm not loving it super, super well. Um, it's just like very, very floral, so it's not my favorite. Okay, and then we've got the skincare sample set. So let's go through this. Okay, first we have the Isle of Paradise Medium Self Tanning Drops for Face and Body. So excited to try these out. I've heard people use these for their face just to get a little bit more of a glow, so I'll try that out. We've got the, the N Beauty Project Bright and Tight Eye Cream. I'm not sure I've ever heard of this brand before, which is probably why it's here, but it says it reduces crow's feet, it has vitamin C and peptides, so that's cool. I got the Pharmacy Honey Plus Potion, Honey Potion Plus Hydrating Mask with Ceramides. I really have liked everything I've tried from Pharmacy so far, so this should be fun to try. I like to bring these like sample size, either uh, nourishing moisturizers or um, face masks with me on trips, so that way I can still have some luxury on a trip. We've got the Sol de Janeiro Beja Flora Elasta Cream. Oh, excited about that, that's cool. This is supposed to help like tighten your skin. So that's pretty cool. I'm definitely gonna try this probably tomorrow. We've got the Laneige Waterbank Blue Hyaluronic Serum. 
Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. I've heard great things about this. The Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, which I have tried this before. It's fine. I'm not really the biggest fan of it, for, especially for the price. The Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, which this is nice for sensitive skin. The Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. Oh, I'm really excited to try that. I've heard such good things. Okay, that's, oh, I tripped on Kai. That's gonna be really fun. The Caudalie Resveratrol Lift Firming Serum. I really have not ever tried anything from Connolly, so we'll see how that goes. The Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This I have actually a little mini size of, and it's actually too moisturizing for me. It's very, very thick, so it's not my favorite, but it's nice if it's like the winter time and it's really cold. And then I've got another Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. And lastly, I've got this little mini Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. It's actually a little tube, which is cool. Always fun to get little stuff like this. Oh, I love minis, they're so cute. So that's what it looks like. Got me a little pot. That will actually last a long time because I don't go through eye cream very quick. So that's really cool. I like that that's like the big one you get. Okay, so that is everything for my Sephora haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Just some restocks and then some new exciting things to try. But I'm gonna go wipe this off from my hand, wipe off the swatch, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.